Greetings, I am Herbert Erpaderp, and once again it's time for Ask a Herbert Erpaderp, where Herbert Erpaderp, which is me, shall have questions asked of him and probably provide answers. Before that happens though, let's welcome some new patrons. A very big thank you to John and Lynn. Not only have John and Lynn become patrons, but let's also say a big thank you to Bruno Zelluloid. I very much appreciate your support, and I hope you enjoy being a patron. Just to let you know, there will be a poll you can take part in as a patron in the next couple of days, if you're into that sort of thing. No obligation, of course. If you would like to be awesome like John and Lynn and Bruno Zelluloid and help me make the videos and streams I do, there's a link to Patreon in the description below. A huge thumbs up to you folks, your support means a lot and really is quite helpful. Thank you. Okay, let's do that thing where the questions are asked and I provide answers. Kenny McCormick, call me Chris. Chris said, what is and what will always be your most favourite kit you've built? I don't really have a favourite and I'm not really into favourites in general. I find it to be too difficult when there are just so many good choices and it seems restrictive. Plus I've built so many kits that I don't even remember them all so if I say one thing I'll think of another thing later on that I would have preferred to say but forgot about. Picking one that will always be my favourite seems a bit silly too. I mean, unless I just stop building models forever, there's always going to be the chance I'll build something new that I like more than whatever I might have said. Probably not really the answer anybody wants when they ask for favourites, but it's what you get, I suppose. M4 Sherman Addict said, what airbrush do you use? At the moment I have three airbrushes, an Iwata HPC Plus which I rarely use, mostly because it's just a little bit more finicky and prone to clogging than the others, especially with primers. I also have a cheapish one that I got from Amazon, which has been a workhorse for however long I've had it. It's not fancy, but it does work pretty well much better than I'd expected. I have no idea what it's called, probably something very generic. I also recently bought a new airbrush from SMS, which is an Australian company, the same one that makes the glue I've been using for the last while. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, but it looks pretty decent. The man said, how is the Herbert? At the moment I feel sick and kind of gross, but I can't sleep, so I'm writing Ask a Herbert Herbert answers. And now that I'm recording, not a lot has changed, except now I feel like somebody's punched me in the stomach. Yay! It could be worse though I suppose, I'm alive. Trekan Belovich said, if you were stranded in the Dark Mirror universe and had to stand the evil Herbert, who doesn't like model kits but loves to yodel, what would you do and how would you do it? Well, not liking model kits and liking to yodel are fine by me. I mean, I would probably stab somebody if they were to constantly yodel in my presence and I couldn't escape, but what sort of sick universe does that? It seems like an entire universe is large enough for me to avoid somebody like that, which is what I would prefer to do. There's no real need for violence or anything like that, though if I was not able to escape and had to endure the yodeling, stabbing, right in the throat. Archmago Stominus Neveron said, if you could own any World War II era plane, which one would it be? I think either a Lockheed Lightning or maybe a Mosquito or something like that. Though to be fair, as someone who isn't especially interested in one particular plane over other planes, any World War II plane would be awesome to own, even if it couldn't be flown. E Phoenix Art said, In the United States, a motor vehicle needs to be at least 25 years old in order to be lawfully imported in. Should it be reduced to 21, if not 15? I don't know anything about importing cars or the law really, but it does seem like a ridiculous limitation, and the only people I can imagine that kind of law being intended to help are car manufacturers, because they have the kind of money to pay for that kind of law to be introduced, so if you want to buy a new car it has to be bought locally. Kinda lame if you ask me. If it was up to me, that kind of thing just wouldn't happen. Companies and rich people wouldn't be able to influence the law like that. Unfortunately I'm just one person, and nobody who makes the law cares about what I think. E Phoenix Art said, any ideas for the Betty Boop Centennial on August 9th 2030? That's a really long time off, and I had no idea such a thing was happening until I read this. I don't really have any interest in Betty Boop so I'll probably forget about it and do nothing. Potato101 said, chicken strips or chicken nuggets? Yes. Actually, I guess it depends. 
They are pretty much the same thing, but chicken strips are better for sandwiches or wraps and things like that, and I feel like they're better if you're eating them with something else. Also, they usually come with different flavoured coatings, and I very rarely see nuggets like that. Nuggets are good by themselves though with some dipping sauce, and they do come in dinosaur shapes, which is of course very important when you're a mature adult. But really, I like both, and I refuse to choose one over the other. Martin Gotham said, Would you build a B-17 if it had jets instead of propellers? Sure, that might be fun, and it would probably upset some plane nerds. But would it still be a B-17? Trekan Belovich said, What does it take to be a just human? I did misread this as just a human, and I was going to say, Well, if you're a human, you just do nothing and be a human. Simple. I guess that wasn't the question though, and I'm not really sure how to tell somebody how to be a just human. I guess, don't be a dick? Treat others how you would like to be treated yourself, and think about things from other perspectives before just reacting. Actually, just think about things is probably pretty important. Something a lot of people don't seem to do these days. That's about all that really comes to mind. I guess it's not really something I think about a lot. Chris said, What is your favourite period to learn about in history? If I really had to pick a single favourite period to learn about, I think most of the time I would say World War II. But really I don't see much point in arbitrarily picking a single time period to learn about. There's so many interesting things that have happened. Spacefan247 said, Did you ever paint your resin rat? Nope, not yet. There is a Patreon goal for that, but it's never been reached, and now that I think about it, I do need to update some of those goals a bit. Ephoenix Art said, What happens when you mix Lord of the Rings with Pacific Rim? I've got no idea, but I don't think I would enjoy it very much. Digital Rocket said, Do you have any plans on what to do after the pandemic is over? And Ratto followed it by saying, Do you have any plans on what to do after the pandemic hits Australia? Which is kind of funny because, largely, other than the initial however many months it was where everything was pretty well locked down, the pandemic hasn't been too bad for us. Though we did just have a couple of days lockdown last week, and masks are required again for a while. Though in general, other than things like travel and having some things shipped here, life has been pretty normal. We're lucky that we're an island that's pretty far from everything, where the major cities are all relatively spread out, and most of our population aren't dickheads who are so fragile that they flip out when asked to do something simple like wearing a mask to reduce risk for everybody. We're also really lucky that our leadership isn't the only thing that was working as a mitigating factor with the pandemic, because Scummo is pretty useless. So I guess I don't really have any plans that hinge specifically on the pandemic being over. Garrus909 said, TIE Fighter, Millennium Falcon, T-65 X-Wing. Which one is your favourite? Like with all of the other what's your favourite questions, I don't really have one, and they are all pretty cool. I think if I had to pick one I would choose the Millennium Falcon. It just looks a bit more interesting, and has more greeblies and doodads all over it. That's pretty interesting from a modelling perspective, and it's just fun to look at and figure out where all of the bits came from. Archmagos Dominus Neveron said, Why do you think, in this age of climate hysteria, not one of the activists relating to the topic propose stuff like velomobiles, if I'm saying that right, also known as bicycle cars, as a means of alternative transportation in urban areas, despite the fact that such a transport is not only commercially available, but is also being built by hobbyists. I don't think hysteria is really the right word to use. It's kind of dismissive of what is a real problem, and I'm not sure that there are no people suggesting things like velomobiles, or however you say it, but maybe they aren't. I do know that there is bicycle infrastructure around here, at least in the city, which is not really the same as a bicycle car, but I think it's close enough. Of course, not everywhere is or will make that kind of change, because people are just like that, but making bicycles more practical and available is definitely a good thing and people do suggest that, and also action is taken on that. So I don't really think it's something where you can say, nobody's doing this, because they are. It is of course a good idea though. That and more effective public transport everywhere would be great. I also agree that it's a problem when people complain about an issue, no matter what it is, but don't do anything but complain without even trying to offer a solution or a new idea. But that is the way the world seems to work. People like getting angry and not doing anything to change what's making them angry. E Phoenix Art said, Got any predictions for the 2030s? 
everything is going to get worse and worse and worse, and more expensive. I would be very happy for this prediction to be wrong. M4 Sherman Addict said, if you had to choose one company to use only their supplies, paints, tools, etc. for modelling, which company would you choose? Hmm, that sounds kinda miserable. I can't think of a single company that I would be happy to get every single thing that I use from. Maybe Vallejo? I'm pretty sure they have tools and I could probably do pretty much everything I want to with their paints. It's not something I would really want to do though. It sounds really restricting. In the YouTube comment section of last month's Ask a Herpa Derpa Derp, Mark Ferguson said, Have you ever looked at paper modelling, aka card modelling, aka Pepacura? I haven't really felt like doing it myself, but I have seen some pretty impressive creations made with paper and cardboard. People might laugh at the idea of making models with stuff like paper and card, but it really is a great and useful material. And if it's good enough for movie models, it's good enough for you and me. I might do something like that myself in the future, but I don't have any plans for it right now. Nick Stromara said, You had a video of a painting tutorial of a Battlefront Tiger 1. I can't find it anywhere. Was it taken down? I'm fairly certain that I've never had a video taken down, and I'm pretty sure that I've not done a Tiger 1 painting video with a Battlefront kit. I did do one with Plastic Soldier Company kits though. I'm pretty confident that I painted my Battlefront resin tigers before I even started making videos, so maybe you're misremembering. Yan Tima said, How does it feel to lead Derptopia? It feels great. It's amazing just how tolerant Derptopia is of incompetent leadership. I mean, a uh, very good strong leadership. Yeah, that ought to do. No more questions. Models. Let's have a look at some of them that have been shared in the Discord community over the last month. First up, Yantima shared this Flak 37, which, judging by the stripes on the barrel, has been busy shooting planes down for a while now. This model is the 28mm or 156 scale plastic kit from Italari, which makes it the same as the Warlord one, and it doesn't look too bad. Yantima's painting is definitely improving. Good work, keep it up. Trekan Belovich shared these awesome little Jagdpanzer fours. These are the new or newish? I don't know if they're that new. But they're plastic models from Battlefront, and I must say they look rather good. This is really tempting me to try and get my hands on some of these. Not only does the model itself look good, but it's obviously been painted very well too. That's just the sort of thing Trekan does. Trekan paints good. Ethic has been working on this amazing Whirlybird for quite a while now. 11 months in fact, almost a year, and I'm pretty sure I've shared some work in progress pictures of this, especially that awesome engine, but it's done now, and it's amazing. I would say that this is 11 months well spent, and I really hope you enjoyed the modelling and research time that you put into this. I'm not very good at remembering, and I do know that this is some variant of a hind, but I don't recall what manufacturer made this kit or what scale it's in. And it wasn't mentioned near the post in which these pictures were shared, so I would just be guessing, so I won't. But I suppose if you really wanted to know anything about this model, Epic would probably be happy to tell you about it. And this is certainly a model worth talking about. I've really enjoyed seeing the progress pictures of this come in over the months, and even if I might not do something so finely detailed myself, I do still find it quite inspiring, and I hope you do too. This is amazing work, and thank you for sharing it with us. Kektank said this is definitely his best work to date, and well, it's amazing. Like FX Hind, this is the sort of thing I might not do myself, but it's really inspiring to see. This kit is the Ravel Technic Spitfire Mark 9C in 32nd scale, and it's Kektank's first illuminated and motorised kit. You don't really hear of kits that have both of those features very often, but it's a really cool idea, and as you can see, it's been executed very nicely indeed. The blue scale in the pictures is intentional to create the look of early morning light as the pilots scramble to action. Also, Kektank mentions that they're open to questions and critique, so if you've got either of those, you shouldn't have any trouble finding them on Discord. Illusion IL-2 Sturmovic shared this good strong KV-1. I like the winter wash that's been rubbed off around the edges showing the green underneath here. I do like winter white washes, though I've never done one myself yet. This makes me want to give it a try. The mud around the tracks is quite nice as well. The model is a KV-1, obviously, 1941 model in 35th scale from Tamiya. 
very nice. Ratto shared this beggar for Mordheim. He kind of looks like he's coming over to hit us with that stick, which I don't want. I don't want to be hit with a stick. This guy looks filthy like he's been outside for years, and I guess that's kind of the look of a beggar, isn't it? It's not surprising that Ratto has done a fantastic job here, and I've really been enjoying all of the Mordheim figures that he's been sharing. Excellent stuff. And that's it for the modelling this month, and also the episode of Ask a Herpet Herpeterp. As always, I'd like to say a big thank you to the folks who share their modelling work and ask the questions. It would be a pretty crappy Ask a Herpet Herpeterp without you. And of course, an extra thank you to our two new patrons, John and Lynn, and Bruno Zelluloid. Your support is greatly appreciated, and I hope you enjoy being patrons. Thank you very much. Ask a Herbert 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 will return next month, so get your questions in, either in the comment section below or in the appropriate channel on Discord. Hopefully I'll see you over there, or maybe on Twitch next time I stream. Links to all of my things are in the description below, and as always, I shall return soon. So until then, be excellent to each other, have an amazing day, and thank you for watching. Farewell.